Why do we have to go to the old white guys in order to change things? Can we empower ourselves and see what power we have to actually change things? The problem is that this United States of America is a place where we've got to take another step. Black Americans have to take another step. And it's not an anti-white step. It's a step in a direction where we have to make sacrifices, monetary sacrifices. We have to give money so that we can build our own. You've heard this time and time again, but Martin Luther King says, we shall overcome. Well, we have to move out of that period. And, and of course, that will make Martin smile. But it takes not, uh, not just money, it takes the mental capacity to do that. Many times, we spend uh, a lot of dollars trying to buy our way into heaven. I mean, in other words, every Sunday, uh, we give X amount of money to put in the church envelope. But there's another envelope that clearly uh, Jesse Jackson running for president has forced us to put money into. We've got to have our own businesses. We've got to have our own theaters. My name is Byron Chamberlain. Hi, my name is Carlos Meeks. So my name is J.J. Lasley. I'm Ricky Williams, and I'm really excited to announced the launch of a new football league, and it's called the Freedom Football League. The Freedom Football League is a spring football league created by 50 former NFL players. And we call it the Freedom Football League because we want to eliminate all of the social barriers and economic barriers that we see in professional sports. Everybody unify for one goal. It's a win-win-win across the board. We're definitely going to be players, a player-centric league and want to help our players develop not only in the game but beyond the game. You know, taking care of our players, their health and their wellness, their education, their careers away from the game. This gives them a platform to really take off and be successful in life after. We're in a position to be leaders, to initiate social change. And for too many years, we've been silenced. And one of the main tenets of the Freedom Football League is, is to allow players to have a voice. Why do we have to go to the old white guys in order to change things? Can we empower ourselves and see what power we have to actually change things? We feel with Freedom Football League that it's more than just a league. It's a, it's a movement. If you look at professional sports um, in general, they don't necessarily, the ownership doesn't necessarily reflect the people who are on the field. We want to even the scales on that, so to speak. To have a league that embraces that and actually addresses all the systemic racism that we have in this country, I mean, it's there. It's not saying that we hate the country, we just need to tweak a few things. I think it's awesome to be the ones who are starting that. I think the social and economic change that we're going to make as a football league is going to spread itself through many other sports. We believe we're creating something special. We feel like we're moving, creating something that'll take us into the future. And if you can get a community and a group to bond on that, we can go into the future together. Yo, stop fronting and use your head. Yo, stop fronting and use your head.